Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to conclude our widget slide design with the final widget interaction uh, button and this is going to be the switch between a day and a night. So to create this uh, function, we're going to go to our walkthrough widget and we're going to add uh, two buttons that will represent one for the day and one for the night. So I'm going to start by adding a button and assign an image that I have downloaded earlier. Let's say for example, uh, sun. And this is going to represent the day. Let's size the image to the context. And we're going to also browse it. So we're going to assign it to the hover and also for the pressed effect and darken the color a little bit. So when we hover over them with the, the mouse over the button that will take the effect and also another button and that is going to be this uh, the moon which will represent the night effect so this is the moon size to content and bring it here also browse it sorry about that i'm gonna browse it again and assign it and also darken the effect a little bit and name this as the night and this as the day so before we add the function to these buttons we need to create first our uh, night level that we don't have currently so I'm gonna compile this and to create the night effect, basically we're gonna save this level as a night uh, level. So I'm gonna save current as, and name this as a night, uh, it was named as the daytime optimized. And we have already created the daytime optimized uh, night level, just for the sake of this uh, tutorial, so we don't need to create the whole thing from the beginning again. So I'm gonna just hide the, the foliage system here so we can speed uh, the preview a little bit while recording this and the first thing we're gonna talk about is the HDRI if you remember in our day HDRI it was actually uh, like an image that represents some trees and the sun effect if you're doing an ArcVis uh, representation for the project most of the time you're gonna need to represent the same HDRI on the night time and to do that you can easily open the same image inside Photoshop and minimize the exposure and also the brightness of the image and also remove the Sun if you like you can replace it actually with the, with the moon effect but in our example here we, we just uh, raise the Sun and minimize the brightness and the exposure so eventually we're gonna have like a, uh, an HDRI that will represent also like uh, the night time of the, uh, the scene and this is going to help the viewer of this presentation that to understand that he have all the same HDRI at the daytime and at the night time and again the same uh, method that we have used in the daytime I've just put the intensity to one and the skylight to one thing no actually I put the uh, intensity of the skylight to 10 and build the light and I've added a bunch of uh, spotlight and a point light uh, which can actually uh, be dragged from the light section and the, the, the icons of the light to represent the red X is basically an overlap of the what do you call it like the, the volume of the light to the other one because we have set this light to a stationary if we set this to static it will go away but because we set this to a stationary because we have some animated uh, trees and also the canopies that we are replacing so once you see this effect like the X you can ignore it and you can also just minimize the distance if we go this to a level below the, the light next to it it will go away the X but actually if you continue with this it will not actually affect the the night light uh, build effect so 
this is what we have as our uh, night time we didn't actually give it uh, a, a, too much of uh, a light setup design it was just based uh, uh, built just to represent uh, the difference between the day and the night but if you are building this I'm sure you when you set up a more uh, detailed lighting effect you'll, you'll have a much better result than this okay so we're gonna go back to our daytime and start also assigning the the widget button on our walkthrough widget so to start with the daytime or basically I prefer to start with the night we're gonna add a simple uh, blueprint setup for this so we have the night button uh, selected so on clicked I'm gonna add an open level and that's it actually I'm just uh, gonna get the correct name of the level by going to the level daytime optimize night press on F2 copy that and inside the open level just make sure you're writing the correct name the same thing will go for the Sun or the daytime again the graph on clicked and Control W to duplicate this and we're gonna get the name of the daytime and paste combine so once we start now uh, our presentation if we start with it we're gonna start with the daytime so I'm gonna click on the night and it will load uh, the night uh, uh, experience but as you can see we have started from the the blue the main menu again but we don't need actually to start from that because if we are shifting to the uh, the night level we don't need uh, to have the same uh, widget menu uh, appear again so uh, we're gonna disable this and assign a key uh, a keyboard button that will enable the the menu to uh, appear again so I'm gonna delete the widget slide from the night level and inside our blueprint I will assign a key uh, so the menu will appear once we press on that key so let's say for example uh, N so I'm just gonna search for the keyboard button that... okay N and we're gonna create from the pressed uh, function create uh, walk through create a widget and we need to create uh, the walkthrough widget basically we don't need the main menu again so we're gonna add uh, this to viewport and let's connect also the return value to the target and from this we're gonna get player controller so it will know that uh, our player is the one who's assigning this function so let's try again and see if this is gonna work so again back to the daytime let's start the presentation I walk through then I'm gonna choose the night time and the menu is not appearing so if I press N it should appear now and that's it so if I press on the daytime it will go back to the daytime presentation also you can do the same thing if you want to disable uh, the menu to appear here but uh, this is basically uh, the idea of uh, switching between a daytime and a nighttime uh, on this presentation so with this uh, last widget function we have reach, reached to our uh, last uh, widget function design uh, that we have in this course and uh, in the next video we're gonna start uh, packaging up the project that we have and learn how to um, minimize the size of the project that we have uh, built so far because as you know we have imported lots of unused materials inside our uh, project which can normally happen with any other project and uh, you get gonna actually need to uh, minimize the size of the project before you package it and this is what we're gonna uh, do in our next video so i hope this uh, video was uh, clear and if you have any doubts or any question 
please share it in the comments below and thank you very much for watching this and see you in the next video